we're going to walk through how to set up a WordPress website from scratch. So the first thing to do is to go to bluehost.com and then you'll select get started now and it's going to bring you into their plans. The starter plan is going to work fine when you're starting out so just select that one and then type in a domain. So I'm going to do my first WP website and then that's it. Don't put any .com or .net. You can select that here if you want one of the different extensions. Then I'll click next. Just wait for that and I'll get this page. Now if you get a page that says we're unable to use this domain that means someone has already taken it and you'll need to select a different one. So here I'll go ahead and fill in my information Select the state and zip code, phone number, then email address. Okay, and then we get down to the package information. So the $3.95 price per month is if you do for three years. And if this is a site you're pretty set on, this is a great deal because you'll get the best one, the best deal out of the three that they have for the starter. Now if you want to do just for 12 months, you'll average out to $5.95 a month. So it just depends on how committed you are to that domain. Now for everything else down here, they've got a few things checked. We do want domain privacy, but you can unselect the site backup and you can unselect the site lock if you want. Um, the only one you might want is site backup if you want to have continuous backups of your site. But if you keep a local copy, you may not want that. Um, if you're doing a lot of blog posts, um, then it may be a good option because it'll always save them. Then you put in your credit card information and then you'll click to agree and click submit. Then that's going to process, give you a thank you page. Then you can log on into your site. And when you do that, I'm just going to log on to mine and I'll show you the exact page that you'll get. So is redirecting. Okay, so here I am inside of my control panel or C panel. You can see here C panel. And so when you're here under website builders, you'll click install WordPress. That will bring you over to another web page, which is the Mojo Marketplace. And then you'll just click install. You'll have one domain name, and that's going to show right here. So I've got my domain right here and actually I'm gonna select the one I'm using which is bite size B school and then you'll click check domain and I'm gonna add a directory because I already have a WordPress installation so I'm just gonna install mine into a subdirectory just call it first WP now you won't do this you'll just click check domain and it's gonna check and then once that finishes, you should be able to move forward with the installation. From here, just need to go ahead and check that I agree to the terms. And that's all. I'll click install. And that should complete the installation. All right. So I'll just remove this. And that is done. So what's going to happen now is I'll get an email with my logon information and then I can log into the WordPress website. You can see at the top here the progress that's going so those are complete. Um, I guess because I clicked it twice it did two installations so I'm just going to click view your credentials. So from here what you can do is you can click view credentials and then down here you'll have these alerts you can just view it says your WordPress installation is finished so I'll click view and here are the credentials so I will just go ahead and open this up in a new tab and supply the credentials to log in grab the password alright so this is the dashboard for WordPress now to create a page, 
um, for a post, I can go ahead and click on post and add new. So I'll just do an add new and this is my first blog post. That's the title. Then down here I can do this will be where I put my blog post content. Publish. And that is finished. Now I can just go ahead and view post and I can see this. So there it is. And this is what the site looks like. I'm, I'm logged in as admin, so I've got this bar up here at the top. That will not be there for other people. But if I want to go ahead and go to the home page, I can. And you can see what's happening is the post is going to appear first. So as you add more, they'll just appear on this page. And here's the Hello World that we saw in the pages as well. So if I go back to post and view all posts, there's the hello world. So that's how you do a WordPress installation from start to finish and get your first blog post up on the site.